I'm Richard Southern at 680 News. What a great week it was for stocks here in North America. The TSX, the Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ surged to repeated record highs. TSX topping the 16,400 mark at one point, and the Dow closing out the week above 20. 5,000. The Dow's moved 5,000 points in less than 12 months. There's a lot of optimism about the economy, about uh, in the improving commodity prices, the oil above $61 per barrel. And there's so much enthusiasm now that we saw this week online trading platforms crash here in Canada. TD Bank's online trading platform and RBC's they went down because so many people were trying to log on to buy stocks. So here come the retail investors to try and get in on this big rally. Uh, the week ended with some very strong Canadian jobs numbers. Canada's economy adding jobs in December, more than forecast, added more than 422,000 in 2017, most of them full-time, and the unemployment rate down to 5.7%, the lowest since 1976. All this had the loony up because it looks like we're going to see some Bank of Canada rate increases. CIBC predicting a Bank of Canada rate increase this January 17th coming right up. Big debate about the increased minimum wage in Ontario this past week, because of course it went up on Monday to $14 per hour, going up to $15 an hour 12 months from now. The Bank of Canada predicted this is going to cost Canada's economy 60,000 jobs this year. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, Ontario added 2,000 jobs in December and added 175,000 over the past year. But nonetheless, clearly businesses are worried about it. We saw a number of them uh, cut hours and uh, Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne accusing the children of Tim Horton's billionaire co-founder of bullying employees at a franchise they own in Ontario by reducing their benefits in response to the increased minimum wage. We saw a sell off for the pot stocks on Bay Street this past week. They went up in smoke on news that U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions is planning to go after legalized weed in the U.S. What's this going to mean for the Canadian marijuana companies? I had a chance to talk to Cam Batley, Executive Vice President at Aurora Cannabis. It's likely that this decision in the U.S. will drive more investment and more investors to leading Canadian cannabis companies. You must want in to places like California. This has to be top of your to-do list. Right. Yeah. At the moment, our priorities uh, involve Europe. We made an announcement today about a, uh, the development of a joint venture with a Danish company that will allow us to enter and become very large players in the emerging European cannabis market. The U.S. is certainly on our radar screen. It's the largest single market in the world. But for the time being, with the uncertainty there, it's not as attractive to, to us as other parts of the world, such as Europe, Australia, and other jurisdictions. Despite the pullback this week, marijuana stocks have been among the hottest of performing issues on the Toronto Stock Exchange over the past little while. Uh, speaking of marijuana, former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson says he's becoming a marijuana entrepreneur. Tyson broke ground this past week on a cannabis resort about 170 kilometers north of Los Angeles. He says he intends to use the area to grow marijuana and to research the effects of the drug. It's going to be called Tyson Ranch. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.